Well, overall, just after watching the film uh, on Saturday, what, what was the general defensive takeaway? Uh, I mean, we just got to be more disciplined with the eyes and uh, just be more locked into the details and uh, just trust what the coaches are telling us. We've, we've heard that a lot, like discipline with your eyes. A lot of players, Brent said it earlier. What, what exactly does that mean and how do you get better at that? I mean, just reading your keys and keep your eyes on the right things, uh, whether it's your man or whether it's having your eyes on a tackle or a guard or whatever the key may be, but just keep your eye, uh, eyes on your keys. What do you see from Kansas's offense? What what's what stands out when you watch the ball? Uh, they have a really good offense, really explosive. Uh, they show a lot of different looks. Uh, they got real good running backs, and uh, obviously they have two good quarterbacks. Uh, one will come in, but uh, we don't know which one's going to play right now. But, uh, they have two really good quarterbacks and uh, good receiving for as well. They'll take shots down the field, and, uh, and they have a good, really good running game. Was facing UCF maybe a good test for what maybe to expect? You know, Kansas has, a, you know, they have a, they have dual threat quarterbacks. They have a good rushing attack. They use trickery. Was that a good test? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, similar offenses, like you said, uh, running quarterback, and uh, they're going to use a lot of option option things, um, take a lot of shots down the field, just like uh, UCF did. What's it been like watching Dolby adjust to his new uh, He's doing great. Uh, I feel like he found himself uh, at that position, and he's doing a real good job of just uh, locking into the, the details that he uh, needs to lock into and just keep making plays. What's it been like having given this song kind of tag team that cheetah position where – Kendall can play a little bit more in coverage. Just not to play a little bit closer to the line when they need to. Oh, it's great. Just like you said, uh, Dobie can play in coverage, and when we when we uh, need a, a stop on third down, and he needs to play coverage, he, uh, he comes in and does a good job of doing that. And like you said, Desan coming in and just uh, having great run support when he when he comes in. So, what's it help having uh, Walker back? Can you, uh, oh, cannot, cannot. Yep. Uh, Oh, it's great. Uh, gives them more depth in the corner room, and uh, Kanai's going to continue to uh, come out and just make plays. Uh, never me and Gentry are uh, a little tired, and he's just going to keep on doing a great job. You mentioned Gentry there. I know you've talked about him before, but, you know, through a few games, what, what has stood out to you about maybe what he's shown on the field and how he's grown and you know, things like that? Uh, just, he's, uh, he's really locked in and uh, trusting what the coaches are telling us. Uh, they like game plan throughout the week, and he's obviously he's making a lot of plays uh, because of that. You mentioned the run game. I know they have mobile quarterbacks, but what's the best about their running backs? Um, they have really uh, two really uh, really good running backs, uh, real shifty, real shifty guys, and they break a lot of tackles. So we just gotta make sure we're closing ground and uh, making tackles. What do you think? Appreciate it. Appreciate it.